With over 30,000 global locations and the title of largest coffee house company in the world, the infamous coffee brand Starbucks has marked us perplexed when considering the lack of Australian demand. In 2008, Starbucks closed two thirds of its stores in Australia as they incorrectly assumed a close cultural cognitive distance between American and Australian consumers and thereby did not tailor the service quality to the new environment. Regarding the seven P's of service marketing, Starbucks did not meet crucial factors to satisfy the people category, as research suggests a downfall in customer service and quality of staff. Australian consumers are often loyal to their local cafes, which offer a sense of community and support, whereas Starbucks service offerings fell flat in comparison. In this case, there was a knowledge gap that indicated a lack of market research on Starbucks behalf and a delivery gap showing that Australian consumers had expectations of a service standard far superior to Starbucks offering. A solution for Starbucks failed approach at customer service in the Australian market is taking a holistic approach to people within the organisation by redesigning the employee customer interaction through staff training, increasing the intrinsic and extrinsic motivations of employees, as well as procedures to strategically gain feedback from local customers. This solution is supported by the three-stage model of consumer behaviour, the cycle of failure model, the wheel of success, the service profit chain model, and the gaps model. The cycle of failure model presents the reasoning behind Starbucks's challenges with their service offering. Employees that are unempowered, stress, and who have little job satisfaction will result in a weaker relationship with the customer. To remedy this problem, Starbucks should use the three steps in the wheel of success human resources. One, to hire the right people, two, enable your people, and three, motivate and energize your people. Although breaking the cycle of failure often requires increased internal costs, the benefits of increased profits and higher customer loyalty outweighs the negatives. Firstly, in hiring the right people, Starbucks should ensure that all employees are committed to enhancing the customer service experience through positive and friendly approach. Research shows that the interaction between frontline personnel and the customer is crucial and that superior customer service experiences are essential in gaining customer loyalty and achieving a competitive advantage. The first step is ensuring that people within your organization want to be there and are excited to contribute. This not only extends to frontline personnel, but to managers and those higher up in the organization who control KPIs and the employee relationship management. Secondly, to enable their employees, Starbucks should conduct staff training which develops both hard and soft skills, also addressing the knowledge and delivery gap between employees and customers. There is a unique opportunity to share experiences between employees and customers in hospitality, which can enhance an individual's perception of a service experience and therefore lead to greater customer retention. Developing these soft skills to appeal to Australian preferences of a relaxed, local and community feel to their cafe experience would benefit both the employees and customers of Starbucks. Lastly, to motivate and energise their employees, Starbucks should relax the push to achieve higher KPIs, as this reduces employees' abilities to develop customer relationships and create positive interactions, similar to the previous point. Furthermore, Starbucks should go above this and motivate their employees through incentives such as staff, discounts and rewards for achieving the best customer experience rather than the highest KPIs. Another motivational drive for employees can be achieved by changing the public brand perception of Starbucks. Australia is well-renowned for its talented baristas. However, public perception of the brand is more negative than local competitors. Therefore, creating an educational piece on the website or promoting via traditional and digital channels the benefits of working for Starbucks would increase the motivation of present and future employees. Examples include receiving world-class training, being part of a friendly and welcoming environment and professional progression. In the post-consumption phase of the consumer journey, the service profit chain model can be used to analyse the efficiency of the recommendations already discussed. This model focuses on the notion that value is created by satisfied, loyal and productive employees, which ultimately leads to happy customers. Firstly, creating a customer feedback loop can be applied to gain customer insight by analysing both the tangible product and the intangible service quality. An example of implementation could be a QR code on Starbucks' products where customers can scan to give feedback. This feedback loop should be incentivized through a monetary discount or a gift card on the next purchase, thereby adding further value to the customer. 
Another example is by utilising local mystery shoppers on a regular basis who specifically analyse the performance of employees and offer feedback on their experience, which is most likely tailored to the consumer preferences within each local community. Secondly, creating an employee feedback loop enables Starbucks to gain insight into potential training, knowledge and skills gaps, which are hindering the service quality of their stores. This feedback loop should encourage transparency and allow employees to raise their issues anonymously, not only within the processes and procedures, but also with management and employee relationships. Lastly, Starbucks should create processes to input the feedback received from both employees and customers on a quarterly basis. This allows enough time for the processes to be implemented and measured before further modifications. Utilising these strategies, Starbucks will have the tools to adjust the knowledge, policy, delivery, communication, perception and service quality gaps, which will ultimately result in an enhanced customer experience tailored to Australian consumers.